If you're working in Houdini, you're probably going to need to copy objects to points at some point in time. So let's look at how we can randomize those objects using the new method. So let's just drop down a geometry node and let's create just some objects. So a sphere, a cube, and a tube. And let's just set this radius to zero. And let's wire this into a merge. Wire this in. And then let's create a grid for our object to scatter onto. Do some copy to points. We'll wire in both of these and take a look. So this is the normal thing that's going to happen. And if we take a look at this copy to points, we have this little checkbox here that says piece attribute. And that's going to be kind of the key to the randomizing the objects in here. So we actually need to give these, all three of these objects, a name attribute. So it's going to use a string or an integer by default. We'll just use a integer just because that's real simple. But you can change this attribute name to whatever you want. We'll just leave it at name for now. A lot of people will call it variant. We'll do an attribute create. And we're going to leave this as is as far as the size. Let's name this name because that's the name of this piece attribute. So these two have to match. And we'll leave that value at zero. We'll just copy these by alt and clicking and dragging. And then we'll set this value to one and we'll set this value to two. And then we're missing one other thing, which is going to be a random assignment to each point that we're copying to. So we'll do an attribute adjust integer. It sucks that we don't have an attribute just randomized that we can just make it do a integer instead of a float, but that is what we're dealing with. So we'll set this to random. We will drop the max value down to two because that's how many we have. So zero, one, two. So we want to go from zero to two and we'll call this name. And you see that we get our randomization and you can do your normal things that you would do with a copy to points. So if you wanted to have them all facing upward, drop down a modified normals node, which is a node that I created. So if you want to grab that, that's available on Patreon. I was just setting the normal direction to up. And then if you wanted to attribute randomize, you know, the orientation or the color, you can do all those sorts of things with those same notes and these same, same kind of setups. So hopefully this helped you out if you didn't know how to create a random rotation, or not a random rotation, a random dispersion of objects with a copy to points. Now you know how to do that. The copy stamp is no longer in Houdini and that was used for a long time. So this is the new method. If you want to just change the way that this is showing up, you can come down to the seed and change that and you'll get a different look. So hopefully this helped you out. If you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I cover a lot of different things inside Houdini. I also cover some stuff on Redshift. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to check out those videos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.